All right, so here we have Bitcoin on Bybit on the four hour. As you see, we broke below that level. Uh, to be honest, it's not looking good, and we're going to go into why. Uh, we did break below that level. Your 21 is crossing your 50 at the bottom of this. So it looks like we could have more to go. Uh, we front ran the 200. Um, your RSI, we are in the bearish control zone. Looks like we, if we can get across here, we would still have a chance. We need to get back above 23,470. We need to stay above 23,400 in order to even have a shot here. Your MACD is curling around. Negative momentum on the histogram is decreasing. Uh, also, in confluence, to continue rising above on the MACD, you need to stay. You need to get above 23,420 in order to cross the signal line. Or uh, we need to get back above 20. Or we need to stay above. We need to get back above 24,300 and then 26,100 in order to cross the zero line. Your BBWP looks like it's heading down. Uh, we could consolidate here for a while. If that BBWP does enter the upper zone again, by the way, your BBWP measures volatility, your MACD and your RSI uh, measure bearish and bullish momentum. So if your BBWP can get back into the upper zone, I would expect the volatility to continue. Uh, so, I mean, are we going to get a retest of the 21 in the trend line and then continue down? Are we going to find support on the 200 at 23,100 and try to get back above? 23600 if we can get back above this trend line i would uh, count this as a massive uh, bear trap um but we will find out because unless we can get above this poc point of control the 50 the 21 and this trend line we're fucked um and that's going to be a high level of resistance so Stay nimble right now because if we get rejected from this trend line and all these variables right here, I would expect us to break 22,600, which is your next level of support. Let's go down to the one hour. So, yeah, I mean, you're retesting the red zone right now and you're having some trouble getting above it. You're also going to have your 50 right here on the one hour. We need to, like I said, we need to get back above here. You're going to find major resistance if you can get back into here at the 100, the 200, and the POC point of control on the VPVR here on the right, which measure, measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. Now, on the one hour, you are above the signal line. We did get out of the bearish control zone. Kind of got, you're getting rejected from the neutral median line right now. Um, you need to st once again, you need to stay above 23,400 in order to uh, stay above that signal line and to stay out of the bearish control zone. As you see, the 23,400 level is very important. Your MACD, pretty fresh cross to the upside. Positive momentum is increasing on the histogram. BBWP is consolidating right now. You are below your moving average. When you cross this moving average on the one hour, that's when the volatility is going to happen. Um, and it would pour into the four hour and take us into the upper zone. Now, what it's looking like to me is that we could come back up and retest. All right. And then what happens when we get up to either the 50 or this trend line is going to dictate where we go next. If we get rejected and this is not a bear trap, 16 K is in the cards. Uh, and that's where I think we would end up 16 K course bounces along the way but ultimately 16k would be what i would be looking at if you guys are liking this video so far like and subscribe to the channel check out the links in the description below one being the discord uh so yeah the bullish case is that we get back above this trend line and this poc point of control in the vpvr get above the neutral median line and get back above this resistance level at the 58.4 region on the RSI, uh, which basically we need to get above 24. Um, as you see, you got 23,860 coming in right here. POC point of control is coming in exactly at 24. Need to get back above 24. 
Um, that would also imply that this MACD crosses this zero line at 24,200 as your BBWP crosses its moving average to the upside. Let's move on to Ethereum. So here on Ethereum, it looks like we're making some sort of ascending triangle, but your measured move would be the POC point of control and the VPVR, the 100 and the 200, and basically 1900. You, your RSI looks like you're going to get above the neutral median line. Ethereum looks better than Bitcoin right now. You are above your signal line. MACD, pretty fresh cross to the upside. Positive momentum is increasing on the histogram. BBWP is very low. <clears throat> so when this thing turns around, if we can stay above this trend line right here on this ascending triangle, uh, I would expect us to make a move up to the POC and the 100 and 200 at uh, basically 1900. So that's the measured move. That would also imply that we get above that neutral median line on the RSI and this last high at 52.4 um, on the RSI. That would also imply that, so your zero line comes in at 1915. So if you can get back above 1900, that's going to look good. All right, so watch your BBWP when it turns around and gets above that moving average. Then watch your momentum oscillators and then see where your price action's at. Short update today. Uh, not a lot. I mean, yeah, something changed. We did get below that level, but that's basically what we're talking about here. So on Solana, making lower highs, lower lows. It's trying to get out of the bearish control zone, but we'll find out. Uh, <clears throat> and you got a fresh MACD cross. Positive momentum is increasing quite a bit as your BBWP is consolidating far below its moving average. So when this BBWP turns around, you're either going to break this last high at 4160 or you're going to break this last low at 4020. If you break the 4020, I would expect a small bounce at 3950, but ultimately I think we would come all the way down to this purple zone at $35. Um, and that's the bearish case. And that would also imply that we get into the bearish control zone deep, get below that signal line. MACD has a fresh MACD cross of the signal line, start printing some dark red bars on that histogram. Bullish case is that we get back above this last high at 4160. I would expect a minor rejection at $42, but ultimately I think we would get up to the 100 and 200 on 4380. Your 100 did just cross your 200, so now all your major moving averages are going to be below each other. If these start to fan out, we're breaking this level, in my opinion, at 3960. Definitely watch the market right now. Pay attention because this could get ugly. This could be the last rally. This could be your last chance to take profit on your trades. And could be your last chance to get some cash on the side to accumulate some more when, you, uh, <clears throat> when we uh, about reach a bottom. I don't know what your strategy is, but I mean, it could get ugly. So definitely stay nimble. Uh, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below, one being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading, investing, and crypto there. Uh, check out the exchanges. You know, I got a Crypto.com one, Coinbase one. Seems like those exchanges are going to make it, so I would definitely check them out. Everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.